Guys, with the amount of SEO tools that are out there, it's hard to know which ones are actually useful and which ones are worth paying the hefty price tag. That's why today we're gonna go over SEO tools that I use on a day-to-day -day basis as a head of SEO. If you're new here, my name is Jauma. I'm head of SEO at a startup here in Barcelona. And in this channel, we cover a bunch of different ways that you can get organic traffic and online growth to your business. Also, as a side note, I realize I'm a little more red than previous videos. I got a little sunburnt this weekend. Anyway, let's dive right in. The first tool that I'm gonna talk about is Google Search Console. So this is the closest and the most direct contact that you can have with Google. So I really recommend that you use this tool. On this tool, you can see a lot of really basic things, but also a lot of really useful things. So off the bat, you can see performance metrics, you can see clicks, impressions, average, positioning, you can see your click-through rate, which is fantastic. It'll give you a breakdown of different devices, countries, different data that, that helps you understand how your website is performing but also very importantly, it gives you information on the coverage of your website. So how is Google indexing your website and why? Which pages are on the index? Which ones aren't? Are there problems with a specific page? So it's a fantastic tool that you can use to connect directly with Google. If you've made changes to a specific page, you can also re-upload it for re-indexing. So Google has the freshest version of that page. If you've made changes to your sitemap, you can also upload a new sitemap. So it's a really, really useful tool. It's not gonna give you super in-depth metrics, but it's a basic tool and it's super useful if you wanna make sure that you're controlling all the basics around your website. Another tool that I use on a day-to-day -day basis is analytics. I'm not gonna cover analytics in depth because it's a really extensive tool and there's a lot of things that we can talk about, but the basics is I look at conversion rates. I, if we're doing a specific A-B test, I'm gonna look at the traffic. How are people performing? Are they going through the funnel? What's preventing them? Where are they clicking? I'm gonna look at all these things that analytics, the Google Analytics provides me. So an incredibly useful tool as well. Another tool that's used on a day-to-day -day basis in my team is WordPress. On top of WordPress, we also use a few plugins. The most important in terms of SEO is Yoast, which is also a very popular plugin. Yoast gives you an indication of how SEO friendly your page is or your post is. It'll give you tips on, hey, maybe you need to add more images. Maybe you need to add the keyword a few more times. Maybe you need to add alt tags. Maybe you haven't put the keyword in the right heading. All of these things, Yoast gives you some guidance for that. The reality is that nowadays, we're not listening so much to a lot of these very specific on-page tools. We're focusing a lot more on the actual quality of the content and less on specific metrics of what specific keyword density we need and how many headings we should have on a page. We wanna focus more on the user and what type of content would the user enjoy interacting with the most. Another tool that I can't miss is Screaming Frog. Screaming Frog is a fantastic tool. We also use their log file analyzer on the side, but Screaming Frog is a wonderful, wonderful tool that if you haven't heard about it yet, and if you're getting into advanced SEO, I really recommend you check it out. As an overview, Screaming Frog will basically crawl your website and will give you a very in-depth audit of all things related to your website, all the URL information, broken links, redirects, you'll discover duplicate content. It'll allow you to visualize your site architecture with specific tree graphs, depending on your internal linking. So it's a fantastic tool. And I've done a lot of deep audits on clients just by using Screaming Frog, and it can highlight a lot of really important problems that maybe you wouldn't find with other tools. The log file analyzer is also a very important tool that I'm using. I might not be using this on a day-to-day -day basis, but the reality is that this tool is also super important. We use Screaming Frog to detect inefficiencies with our crawl budget. Maybe Google is crawling a page that we don't really want to be crawled, or maybe there's a really important page that Google isn't crawling enough. So using the log file analyzer, we'll see exactly which page it's crawling, the amount of times, if it isn't the Googlebot, if it's another crawler. So we'll see all of that with the log file analyzer. So fantastic tool. Another tool that we're using on the day-to-day -day is Surfer SEO. Surfer SEO is a really, it's quite an extensive tool as well. There's a lot of things that you can do with it, but the top three things that we use it for on a day-to-day -day basis is the audit, the content editor, and the SERP analyzer. So what does the audit do? The audit, you basically give it a specific URL, a URL from your website, and a keyword that you're trying to rank for, and it'll tell you what are the things that you're lacking in comparison to the top 10 or the top results of that search results. So this is a really great way to kind of have an overview of what competitors are doing that you're not. Maybe there's specific search terms, they're including your content that you're not. Maybe there's an exact match H1 that you're missing. So there's a lot of different things that you could be missing out on that this audit is really good at letting you know. The content editor is also extremely useful. And the good thing is that we also connect this to WordPress. So it's right hand in hand with, with Yoast. Uh, so we'll use both from when the content writers are working with WordPress. And what the content editor will do is based on a keyword that we've given it, it will structure the content based on what it sees on the SERPs. And it'll, it'll give you suggestions in terms of which terms to use the amount of times where, if they should be placed in headings. So the importance of the specific terms and so 
so it's a really good way of again looking at the on page of things while it's being written and it'll give you a really nice score for your content writers to to kind of know which way they're going if they're doing well if they're not doing well again take this with a pinch of salt uh, we're trying to use these on page tools a little less because now we're very focused on the quality of the content and less on seo stuff obviously we still follow a basic template to make sure that things are, are flowing properly but we focus more on the quality the serp analyzer is also a really important tool that we could also be talking about for hours but as an overview it'll give you a really in-depth breakdown of on-page factors comparing the different competitors in the SERP so also a really interesting tool helps us understand what people are doing within a specific keyword and allows us to, to make decisions based on that surfers is a super useful tool that I use on a day-to-day -day. another tool that we use on a day-to-day -day is uber suggest this is kind of a more basic but still really useful keyword research, competitor analysis, and backlink analysis tool. It will allow you just to see an overview of keywords, of its difficulty, of the competitors within that keyword. And so it's a, it's a fantastic tool. I've actually talked about Ubersuggest in this previous video that you can find right here. It's a bit more of a beginner friendly tool. If you wanna st get started with SEO, I really recommend it. Another super important tool that we have a separate team for is our link building tool. So we rely a lot on Pitchbox. So Pitchbox is a fantastic tool i could talk about pitchbox all day and as you guys know i'm a big believer in link building and so we got a really really good tool to help us do that pitchbox is a crm that's made for link building and it's a sensational tool basically what it does is you give pitchbox a keyword and it'll give you a curated list of bloggers or websites that you can collaborate with once you have this list the list was, will also be separated in terms of seo metrics so you know the exact domain rating you know the url rating you know how much traffic they get on a monthly basis from there you can select the specific people you want to contact and after that you can begin your outreach process with those people that you've already selected. You can create super personalized messages. You can follow up. You can do everything on Pitchbox. I highly recommend it. If you're doing link building at scale, it's a really great tool to grow. And finally, I could not be talking about SEO tools without mentioning my favorite SEO tool, a tool that I probably spend most of my days on, which is Ahrefs. I absolutely love this tool. Ahrefs, if you're listening and you want to sponsor this video, I would love that. Ahrefs is one of the most powerful tools out there in the SEO industry. It has one of the best backlink index is available its keyword index is also incredible it's connected with clickstream so it gives you an estimated but quite calculated metric in terms of how much traffic websites are getting uh, so it's a fantastic tool for keyword research for competitor analysis for market research you can also do site audits on it it also has a rank tracker it's an incredible tool that I use on a day-to-day -day basis and I've used I've used this tool for all my SEO products so I trust this tool with my life Okay, maybe that's a bit much, but still, I absolutely love this tool. Also for, just as a plus, for organizing and for communicating within the team, we use Slack, we use Google Calendar for meetings as well. If your team has a Google Workspace, it works super well. You can see exactly how people's schedules work and all that. So fantastic tool as well. And that's it guys. Those are the most important SEO tools that I use in a day to day. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something. If you guys have any questions, I've added my LinkedIn in the description. I love you guys. Like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.